In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a FSR to the Brain Junior. FSR is a force sensing resistor and it works like a button um, and like an analog at the same time. So this is something that you'd see in like a, uh, a drum controller or a bass controller, anything that has velocity sensitive pads. Um, the harder you press, the more velocity and when you let go, the velocity goes down. So it acts like an analog control. In essence, it goes from 0 to 127, um, but instead of moving a control, you're just pressing, and it's uh, registering your force. For this example, um, all I need is a Brain Junior, an FSR pad, two jumper wires, and a 10K ohm resistor. The nice thing about the Brain Junior is we designed it to work with these uh, cables that can easily be plugged and unplugged. Um, so you can do completely solderless connections. All right, to get started, uh, I need to take my FSR and plug it into the brain. I'm going to be using the analog connections here since this is in, uh, it sends out an analog signal. And uh, the way this FSR also has these jumper connections here so I can easily plug it in. So I'm going to go ahead and connect one of these lines to the inside, which is my voltage. Um, connect the second line, and you can do this either way. It's just going to register your value different, so there's no right or wrong way to plug these two in here. You just have to make sure you're following this. And I'm going to plug this into the uh, wiper, which is the center connection. Before I do that, I'm going to take this 10K ohm resistor, and I'm going to wire it in between the ground, or the negative, and the wiper. Um, this is going to have to push this in a little bit harder because I'm trying to fit these two connections in here. But there you go. I have a wired FSR. Now, to make this work like a real FSR, uh, what I'm going to have to do is go into my brain configure application. And what I'm going to do here is disable all the unused analog controls. There's 16 per brain junior. So I'm going to go ahead and disable all these controls. So I just have the one. Uh, and then I'm going to change the type from pot to FSR and send configure to the brain. Now I'm going to open my tools window so you can see what happens when I press it. So you can see the harder I press, the more value it gives me. And this works just if I was to connect a potentiometer here, it would give you the same um, readout. So depending on how hard I press, I can get long or short um, presses with different velocities. So this is the Brain Junior FSR tutorial. Uh, it doesn't get much simpler than this, and we look forward to seeing what you guys do with it.